Yud. Here the Psukim talk about Yehuda and Tomor. And it says after his wife passed away and Tomor already had left because she first was married to two sons of Yehuda and they, they both died. She left back to her father's house. And then the Posik says, I read the Posik, not this Posik, the first Posik. Posik today says, the days passed, Yehuda, Yehuda to comfort after his wife died. That way Rasha explains here, or the Posik says, that he went up to Timna, that Yehuda went up to Timna to be there when they share the sheep of his, to be there to watch. And Asher said, Timnos, he went up to Timna. Then the next Posik says, By you got Lamer. It was told to Somer, people told Tomar, saying, Behold, your father-in-law is going up to Timna to share his tzain. So she went and made up a plan how to meet him, etc., etc. That's the Posik. So the Rebbe is going to talk about the second Posik. So by Pirusha la Posik, you got Tomar, the Tomar in the game. And the second Posik where we said that it was told to Tomar that, etc. And what's the etc. that he's going up to Timno? Mighty Grasha Ateve, from that Posik, Rasha quotes the, the, the words, Elo Timnosa. It says she went up to Timno. And the Farash Rasha explains like this. Basically, Rasha asks Akasha. Later on in Tanakh, by Shimshon it says, by Yerat Shimshon we gave it Timno. So the Chayre Shimshon went down to Timno. So here it says went up. There it says it went down. And it says Chura Timno, the same city. So was it high up in the mountain or was it down in the valley that you go down? In our postage, his Mashmit was going up, and there it says he's coming down. Rashi answers, Bishipura, Bishipua, Harhoisheshavis. It was the middle of the slant of the mountain. It was the middle of the mountain, the middle of the slant of the mountain. Einun Lomikan, Yedin Lomikan. If you go from one side, you'll be going up. You could go from up down, because the city is in the middle of the mountain. So sometimes if you go from one side, you're going down. If you go from the other side, from the lower part, from the rec uh, even part, and you're going up to the mountain of Timur, you're going up because it was in the middle. This is how Rasha answers this theater. So Rebbe said, the Torah of you have to understand like this. This contradiction from the word that says by Shim Shem Vayered, what Rasha is coming here to answer, this question comes up on the previous Posik. So the previous Posik, as I read before, it says that he went up to Timna. And, and the, he says in the order that Rasha says that the Vayal goes on Timna, on the city. Because the other Mephorsha, like the Ebenezer, learns that Vayal doesn't go on him going up. It means going up to see the sheep, how they shear the sheep. But Rasha learns Vayal goes on the Timna. So Rasha already, the Posik already said that they were going up to Timna. Since that's a previous Posik, he should have said this cash over there. The first time it says that Elo by Yaltim, no sir, Asha should have asked. Here it says going up, and by Shimshin it says going down to Simna. So why doesn't Asha ask it there? Another Kasha? Yikim Shadarke Shal Asha and the Farish of Pichuta Shomika. Since the Derech of Rasha is to explain everything according to Pshat, simple Pshat, Ubeit Mishayasim Leben Chomish Shomika in a way that even a child that just starts learning Chomish should understand it, how they move we understand Rasha only explains those things only things that somebody who learns the Posik <coughs> will have a Kasha. So all the Rashas are to explain what is not something that's not understood in this Posik. The Posik is not to explain the Posik we're learning now. If the Posik itself is, is okay, but because of the hair contradictions, another psukim should tell him the Talmud before he learned it. Rasha doesn't do that. In other words, if Rasha does do it, if Rasha does as a stira, it's usually the second time when you have a posik here, which makes sense. Then when you come later on to a posik which contradicts, oh, Rasha has to answer it. But when Rasha doesn't answer that kasha before, because in this posik, at this moment, there's nothing hard. So therefore, in our case, since this posseg itself, there's nothing 
schwer, not, not understood to the Talmud. Elo she'ev she'el ha'akshis olam mi'posik, sh'atalmud osid l'lamdei, but there is a kasha you could ask from a posik that he will learn in the future in, in Shaftim, in Tanakh, that's what Rasha is doing. So why does Rasha answer this question in this parsha? Where he should have answered it is in Shaftim. Shaftim, where it says, Meshimshim down to Timno. Rasha should say, We already learned that Timno is going up, but not here. Should only do it over there. Lacha shat Talmud lomet as base taksuvim yidayel mashreisam, and he learned both sukim already. He learned this part. Now you come to the second post, and now you compare it. And obviously, the Rebbe always says that the Talmud must be a good head. The Rashi's written Talmud that remembers everything, so he remembers the sukim. So he has a good kasha. So Rashi over there should say it, but Rashi over here has no reason to answer because in this post like, there's nothing hard. Third kasha. Lomet lele Rashi lahilik b'shein nishu b'tachos adiku chol pratelik yidu. We know that Rashi is meduyik to every detail. So why does Rashi have to? The Ma'ariv, or Leimer, he says, "U b'shimshin Leimer." When he asks the contradiction, he asks that by Shimshin it says, "Vayeret Shimshin Timnosa." Luchura ain't zel as far as yeser. Luchura, this seems to be extra. Me'acha she Rasha b'atzam maybe lo shna kosa vayeret Shimshin. Rasha brings that posseg, and in that posseg it says, "Vayeret Shimshin." U b'zeh harei yidu alone b'mi ve'if and emar lo shni vidazu. So from that we already know where this posseg is written that you're going down to Timno. But your master would have been enough. He would say simple, very short. He would have said like this. Here it says, and it says another Shimshim went down. So besides the Kasha, why is he asking the Stira here? That's a different problem. But even if he is asking the Stira here, why does he have to mention that by Shimshim it says? In other words, if, it, if the Posse wouldn't say, if he wouldn't bring that Posse, then maybe Rasha would have to say where it says because we don't know where the Posik is. Rasha can't just say some other place it says Vayeda Timnosa. I mean, maybe he could, but it's not so Posha because you wouldn't know where to find other Posik. But since Rasha said, quotes the Posik where it says Vayeda Shimshin, so we know it's Yerida. So why does Rasha have to start off by saying, Ube Shimshin, Aimer, by Shimshin, he says, we know it's by Shimshin. So then the Rebbe continues, concerning this Kasha, Shalashayna Saksuvim, this idea, this kasha that Rasha asks here, that the, two, when the, uh, the city of Timna is a contradiction of Sukim, the Gemara asks the Shaila, actually. But Sinai the Gemara, Gimel Terutzim. The Gemara in Saita gives three Terutzim to this kasha. Number one Terutz is Shimshin Shen is Ganabo. Shimshin, that when he went to Timna, he was embarrassed with it, which means. Girish Rasha Rasha says, Shenosam, he blessed Plishtim Asurisla. He married daughters of Plishtim, which he was not allowed. So, since going to Stim that caused that, Ksiv Beyeride. So, there it says Vayeret, which means that the word Vayeret doesn't mean physically going down. Vayeret means he was going down in Matsev, in situation, in status, in Ruchnius. And Yehuda Shenis Alabo, Yehuda, when he came to Timno, he went up. Upirish Rasha Rasha says, that when he went to Stimnos, he met her, Tomor. And from that came Peretz and Zerach and kings and Nevi'im came. He had an Aliyah when he went there. So the Gemara gives one answer, basically, that Bashimshin, Vayere doesn't mean he went down physically, he went down in Ruchnius. And by Yehuda, he went up in Ruchnius. That's one Teres the Gemara gives. Another Teres, there were two Timnos. One was on a mountain that you had to go up, and one was in a valley that you had to go down. So there are two. And Rashi, the Rebbe, actually, in the order nine, brings that, that we do find, actually, that there were two. One was in the Chalik of Yehuda, one was in the Chalik of Don, and they were talking the two cities. So no problem. And the Gemara answers, one was up, one was down. The third time, it says, No, we're talking about the same team, no, one. The Osema Haigis, the Osema Haigis, if you come from one side, he has to be going down, which means it was in the middle of the mountain. If you're coming from the top of the mountain to get to Timnos, you have to come down because it's in the middle of the mountain. If you go from the other side, from the floor, you got to go up. And that's basically the Teretz, the, the Pshat that Rasha brings, the third Pshat. Now, now, based on this Gemara, we could ask Rasha another Kasha. Why did Rasha pick the third Teretz of the Gemara? But why is it better than the previous The other two you could also say in Pshat. When the Rebbe in the order nine says, what the Pshat, the other two you could say in Pshat. The first that is where it says, 
that it means Baruchnis, which means Yeridah Labdafka means physically, it means in Matzav, in situation, he went up and down. Rasha brings it many times. Rasha brings this idea that Vayeret could mean going down in Matzav, it could be Aliyah going up in Matzav, we find that. So if Rasha brings it in different places, a simon that in Derech Hapshat, you could say it. The second Pshat, where it says Tutimnes, Avada, you could say. It's a very easy term, it's a very simple, it could be two cities, the same name. Especially that we do find actually that they were talking two cities. So why does Rasha not give any of those truths when he picks the third teret that it was in the middle of the mountain and you had to go up from one side and go down to the other side? Well, Bifrat, especially, the Mezesh and Megdom and the the fact that the first truths, the other two truths are before this last teret, is that they're closer to the, what the meaning of the Posik seems to say than the third one. <clears throat> because that's why they're first. And the Rebbe the Ora says that even though in Gemara, the Gemara is not a Derech Hapshat. So in Rasha, the Rebbe always says if it's a first Pshat, it means it's closer to the Posik, because it's closer to the Pshat, because Rasha is Pshat. But the Gemara is not Pshat, the Gemara is Drush, Remes. But the Rebbe says still it's understood that anything that fits more to the Posik, the Gemara would bring it faster, even though it's Derech Hadrush. In Kain AJ said the most, now the Kasha is more. Dafke Rasha, my father shall be Tutish Mikra, Dafke Rasha, who says everything of Tutish Mikra, maybe Madiv Satir Sachin brings the last edit, which seems to be the least connection, Masha of the Gemara, to the simple Pshat of the Posse. And nevertheless, Rasha chose this Pshat. So he's asking Bechlau, why is this Pshat better, even just looking at the Pshatim, especially that they're better, they look, seem to be better because the Gemara brings them first. Sabir, because that, the answer goes like this. The Pirusha Shorasha, the Posse Shilfaneno. When Rasha explains this Posse, He's not interested mainly to answer the contradiction that by Yehuda it says the word Eila and it's contradiction for the Loshan Vayeret B'Shimshin. The Loshan B'Shimshin. That's not what Rashi is mainly interested. Why? Like he said before, the Talmud who learns this Rashi has no idea that there's a contradiction because he didn't learn the other Posik yet. So this is not mainly what Rashi is trying to say. There is a question that Rasha has on the word himself in this posik. When it says, Eila Timnose is going to Timnot, Rasha has a kasha. The kasha is like this. Why does Rasha, why does the posik, when it says he went to Timnot, say he was up? Like this. There's no problem. Let's say up means he, there's a mountain, so you have to go up. But why is it important that you have to go up to Timnot? Why does the Posik pick that? Kloimer means like this. Loma Madaik Akosif. Why does the Posik Madaik? Shahugat let Tomer that they told Tomer, Kichameho Eilat Timnosa, that your father in law is going up to Timna. The Chiesh Eisen Afkusa Latech and Asipu makes a difference to the story that would be told that he's coming, whether they told her he's going up or not. After my daughter came, it could be it's going up. It's a city that you have to go up to the mountain. But why would they mention it? He said, any difference makes any difference that they would tell her, you know, that he's going up. It's not going down, the Beirach Mishra are going straight. Maybe, what difference does it make? As we find, that the Terech of the Terech is not to explain the style of going, how you were going, but more than Terech. If you're not, it's not important. You don't need it. The Torah doesn't mention it. Here's an example. We find that Le'il the Pashas Arkeda earlier in Chumash, because whatever is written earlier in Rasha or Chumash, the Talmud knows, so that we could refer to. The Arkeda Shukar Lomda Talmud. Talmud learned it already. It says there like this: Hakadosh Baruch Hu Amar Avram Hashem said to Avram, "Kach Nos Bincha Zichit Chav Haleyu Begemer Al Achat Ahorim." Take him up to one of the mountains. Now, when it says take him up to other the mountains. So some people would think Bahaleu means bring him up as a korban. Bahaleu doesn't go on going up to the mountain. But the Rebbe here brings, if you look in Rasha, Rasha teaches that the Ebesha said to him, Bahaleu, bring him up to the mountain, but not that didn't mean Aleyu, bring him up as a korban. So there, the Torah says, bring him up to the mountain. And still, then it says later in the post, it says he went to the place, but Levi, I love him, he and then it says, Vayaveyu al Amokim, they came to the place. Even though they were going up. They were talking about Haramaria, where they took them to the kitchen, it was going up. It doesn't say. The reason is very simple. What difference does it make how he got there? 
go up, or you have to go up or now. But the Yaboa cost of the father Dover Shaking Nagea, Pinion number two, but the Taylor doesn't tell us Tai Chizu is how the trip was if it's not the gate to the Indian. See, the fact that in the Postig Bahaleu to the one in the mountains, the Rebbe says in the order of 14, why does the Postig say there, Lahura, what's the to take him up to the mountain? The Rebbe says there, it has to say, since he wants to tell him it's a mountain, go to Al Akhata Horim. So then when you say go, when, when someone says go to the mountain, how do you speak? Go up to the mountain. Because we're telling you where to go, go to a mountain, go up to the mountain. But when we're telling you go, it happens to be that you're going on a mountain. Would we have to tell you, Gabba, go up? And therefore, so here too, since there is no specific reason why to tell that, that he was going up, that Yehuda was going up to Timnos, However, the labor of Lush and Stomach, should I say some that by you got the Tomer, Tomer figure heard, it would tell her that your father in law, hey, lifting us, is going to Timna and she's going to find him on the way. Okay, Yetzab is another Lush. Why is it important for the tailor to write Ayla? Because the word Ayla seems to be telling us something. In other words, you see, sometimes the, the Shaila is on the posse. Why does it say extra words? It could have said Bikitsa. Here it's not like that. Helech and Eila would be the same amount of letters as the same. But Helech is the standard lotion. If I tell you, go someplace, go. Or I tell you, you know someone is coming. Eila is already going up, saying something specific. So normally the standard lotion would be say, if it's not Negeya, how are you going? Go. He's going. He's going. Or you go. Why would we special go up? Even though the pale is going up, but that's not the standard lotion. But if I stress the word that he's going up, that means that there is something special in the idea that he's going up. But the question is here, well, what's so special about going up? All she had to, all they told her that he's coming to Timnos and go meet him there, whatever you want to do. So therefore, Rasha has a kasha. So it's not that bothering Rasha, the stira. Rasha has the post, Eilat Timnos, he has a problem. And Rasha doesn't write the kasha. Like Rasha usually does not. Rasha usually does not write what the kasha is. Rasha, when he brings a post and he touches, in most cases, he doesn't bring the kasha. After you read the Rasha, you figure out yourself what the kasha was. So here Rasha doesn't write this. This kasha is something that you could figure out yourself. There's a problem here. Why does the posik say Elo? Now, this will explain why Rasha didn't ask the Shaila in the previous posik, where it also says, Vayal Timnosa. Omnam the posik, Hakaidum Lazen, the posik before, Avshagam Beinam, Vayal Timnosa. There it also says he went to Timnos. So it says he went up. There, there is no kasha. Over there, we could say, There, when it says that the Torah is telling us that he, what, what he did, he went up to Timnus. The Torah talking means he went up, went to a place where he had an aliyah baruchnius. We could do that. Had we touched that when the Torah says he went up to Timnus means he went up in Madrege, it's no contradiction to Pshat. Some of might think that's not Pshat Hashemik. He went up, means he went up. No, no, in Pshat we will find going up means Baruchnir. That a Betchilas Apar Shanemar, and here it especially makes sense. In the beginning of this portion of the Torah, it says, Vayered Yehuda Meisachot. Yehuda went down from his brothers. It means he left his brothers. Pirish Rasha Bepashtas Perush. Rasha in the simple Pshat says, what does it mean he went down? Sheheridu Echov Migdolose. That the brothers lowered him from his greatness. In other words, he was before that the king of the brothers. And after they sold Yosef and they saw how their father was so upset and it was Yehuda's idea to sell, they lowered him in his madrege. Yerid Beruchnir. And Rasha teaches the pshat, Vayered Yehuda push it. Even the simple pshat, Yehuda means he went down in physically. No, Rasha says not. Now, it would make sense, that as a continuation to that, that he went down in his madrege. Namer Vayachakach Vayal. So now it says, Vial, he went up Lelamdeinu to teach Shabbat the Chosel Timna, going to Timna. By the Maisa Tomash and Isteva Bezeh and the story of Tomar that came out of it, Chosel and Yisala. Vial, he went back up Beruchnius. Ogatir Tzarish Shabigimara movie. Like the Gemara says it. Why does it say Vial? Because he went to Beruchnius. So in the previous post where it says Vial, Dasha has no kasha. Why the Torah stresses Vial? Torah wants to tell you on the Beruchnius. Om Nam Zeh, you talk, and this only will fit Ragda Mokashinam or Vial. In the previous post, it says, Vayal Beloshan Nister. Beloshan Nister means like a third party. But the like a third one, when you talk about somebody. 
is the Torah talking to us about, so it's like a third, there's the Torah telling us what Yehuda did. So the Torah is telling us what he did. The the Torah knows the Torah could tell you he went up to Timno because the Torah knows that this brought later in Aliyah and his Madrege, like the Gemara says, he had Sadiq and children, etc., etc. So the Torah could do that. So when the Torah tells us about Yehuda, so the Torah is telling us, so the Torah tells us physically things what he did, and the Torah tells us what happened. Baruch. By this posik, the next posik, Shanem Arbeider, it says that people told Tomor, your father in law is going up to Timna. There, the Tater is repeating what someone told her. Not the talking about somebody of the Tater talking about. The Tater is telling us, you know what people told her? And the Tater is quoting the statement of what the people told Tomor. The Torah is telling us the Nusach, the Loshan, the expression that the people used when they told this to Tomer. Here you can say, that guy who told Tomer that Yehuda is going to Timno meant Aliyah, Ruchni Shel Yehuda Boss, and in the future he'll have an Aliyah. What do you think the guy in the city there knew what's going to happen later? That he meant an aliyah baruchnis. The kim shekain. If so, haleyakusha because of this. On this pasuk, there's a kasha. Lo amanemra loshen aile vali chosit timnosa. In the case of the kasha that we had before, why it says aile when he went to timno? What's the gei that he was going up? In kame medes. That's where the kasha comes. So this answer we asked before. Why does Rashi explain this on this part, not on the previous one? The previous one is no kasha. Prima, they could learn very simple. The Torah says he went up and Tim the Torah is telling us, yes, he had an Aliyah Baruch, yes, it's no problem. They can't ask a Kasha why Bashim Shin says as I it. But now that we're saying in this passage, we're repeating, the Torah is repeating what the people said, that here we have a Kasha. The people don't know this, that they had an Aliyah Baruch. Yes. Now, someone might ask at this point, I'm just saying a Kasha that people may ask, but if the Torah is quoting what the people said to her, maybe the people said it. They didn't mean anything, Baruch Nis. They meant uh, Gashmi. So they were not so. When people talk, you think they're careful in every word, so Maduyak. The whole Kasha is in the Tayyar with everything is Maduyak. Why do you stress Aliyah? But what people speak, so the Tayyar is quoting what people spoke, what people told her. So they use the Lush Naila. Happened to be going up there, whatever. So what's the problem? Why can't we say that that's the. And you don't need a reason why they said Ayla. But I understand that even the Torah quotes what people say, the Torah will only take out the words of what they say, what's Negea. I'm sure when they spoke to they didn't say just these words and that's all. They said, they didn't say a word before. I'm sure they said there, you know, he's coming, he's all kinds of, and the Torah picks only those words which are Negea to know, but it's quoting them. So if the Torah said this, and I'm sure they said, going up, he's going, why would they have picked the word Eila? I see the Torah is trying to tell us there's something there. And you can't say, that the reason is because that's what they spoke. And you can't say the reason is because Aliyah Baruch is because that for sure they didn't have in mind. And we're talking about what they said to her. And the Tatus, Medayik, this is what they said to her. That's what Asha has a Kasha. Kusha Zumatatas Rasha, but to answer this Kasha, that's what Asha brings in the contradiction. Not that Rasha is bothered by the contradiction here. So, in order to answer the Kasha, why the Posse uses Eila, so Rasha says like this. In other words, by, he says, of a Shimshun, Aimer, by Shimshun, it says, the Shimshin went down to Timnos. And Rasha has this Kasha. What Rasha means to say is, because of Eila. Rasha is telling us that by me answering the contradiction in these two psukim, that will answer the real Kasha we have here. Now, what's the answer? That says he went up to Timnos. So we have to say, since one place it says up and one place down, you have to say it was in the middle. They were going up from one side and going down from the other side. Basically, there are two ways to get to Timna. That's what we see from the contradiction. And that will answer the Posig, why the, why, that will answer the Kasha, why the Posig here says that people told her that is, he's going up. Now that we have a hechrech, 
And the fact that we have this theta, we have to say one is going up and one two ways there. So now that we know there are two ways going to Timno, you could go from the top of the mountain down, you could go from down up. So that takes away the cash. Why they people told her your father was going up and the Taylor brings it. So the Taylor's medaic that they spoke and they said going up. Now we understand because that's the to what they were telling her. What were they telling her? That you have a way, your father in law is going and you could meet him. Now, since they had two ways to get to Timno, how would you know which way he's going? So they had to tell her he's going on the way up. By this stress that's going up, which way is going? It's going this way from down up. So they should, maybe she'll be able to meet her, meet him. So the answer why it says Ela is because it's negated to what they were telling her. They were telling her where to meet Yehuda, and they were telling her that he's going up. But how do we know that this, it, it, there are two ways, which answers the Kasha why it says going up? That's because there's a stira. So the stira is just an introduction to understand why it says here that they told her he's going up. So that's why we understand why Rasha doesn't pick the other answer that the Gemara gives, that there were two cities called Timno. The Tiritz are based in the Gemara, the second Tiritz in the Gemara. Shara'en Kavanosa Yikris, the Tiritz is a stira, but Shane is a student. Them is the post, like we said before, Rasha is not interested here, mainly to answer the contradiction. Okay, now, like we said before, the one that's learning this post has no cash about the other post. He doesn't even know the other post. Hello, Rasha is trying to answer as Hadiyuk Veloshan Eila Nem Rokan. He's trying to answer just why it says Eila here. To explain why it says Eila is only because, like we said before, if you're going to give the answer that you could have two ways, one, it was in the middle of the mountain, you could go up and you could go down. So that answer answers why there is that uh, shot and that answer in the stira answers why here it says since it was in the middle of a mountain, you go in two ways. This explains why they had to hint and tell Tomor which way he's going. And by the way, the Rebbe says, but but sof sof, Rasha answers the stira here. He's not in, that's not his point. His point is to answer the question of the point, but he does answer the stira. That's why if you look in Shaft in Russia, doesn't say the stira there. Doesn't ask the stira, doesn't answer it. And the Chura over there is the place where you should answer it, because there we, we know this posse. But the bottom line is, whatever reason, Russia already answered it here for other reasons, because he wanted to answer the word Elo. But since he answered that, he doesn't have to answer the, the, the stira over there. So that's only answered if you say it was in the middle of the mountain. And if the answer that there were two timnos, you could also answer the same thing. The two timnos, she had to tell them which timno to go. If they would tell her, you know, your father in law is going to timno, but there are two timnos, you have to know which way. So the Rebbe says, no. According to the Swara, there were two timnos. This will be so answered. The EF Shalemer, Loshin, Elemer, Shaloshin, Ela Timnos, Bol, Ramas, Ledia. You cannot say that they use the Loshin. You know, Eli, I mean, is to teach us and tell us that they said Eli, to tell us you should know which, which timna is going. And it seems like one timna was on top and one timna was on the bottom, the two timnas. And they would say, then maybe she, they said Eli, timna, so to tell you that she, he should realize, she should realize which timna is going to. So the Chudi could answer saying two timnas, and we understand why they said Eli, because they had to tell her. Which mountain, which one is going? The one that's on top. So he says, the Rebbe says, no. Because number one, if you want to show which city it is, the way to say which one it is, if one is on top, one is on the bottom, you don't say go up. The difference is only go up or go down. Kim, Kvishanemet is another posse by a different city. There's Beis Cheir and Tach, Beis Cheir and Elyon. So that's how you say. So if they would want to tell her that the one on top, you say, go to Beis Cheir and Elyon. Go here, you say, go to Beis Timna Elyon. That's the way you say it. That's the way the names of the cities are also. But you don't say a top and the bottom. So the eight other places we find that when one city is on the top, one city on the bottom, you refer to it. This is the top one. This is the bottom one. Because one, but not you say go just by saying go up or go down. Based the second story, since the one that was telling it to her, 
just gave the name, that's all. Mashmeh shaloyamoyim l'smokim l'sofim. His mashmeh, that there was no place to, he didn't tell the word timna. His mashmeh, that there, it's not because there was a sofik of another timna. Because only one was close, and when they said going to Timna, like when you live in a city, close to a certain city, and you say, uh, go to a place, like we would say, go to here to Fort Lauderdale, and there's another Fort Lauderdale, someplace far, and you don't have to say, you say, go to Fort Lauderdale, no one ever knows it means this one. So here, by the fact that they didn't give any other simonim, just by saying go to Timna, you would know which one it is. But you don't have to say, go up, he's going up, in order to tell us which Timna it is. And another thing, if there is another spot, if there are two timnas, for sure they were not close one to another. If they're not close, there's no need. See, I don't know exactly what the difference in days and gimel. So since there are two and they're not close to each other, so there's no need to be media to which one he means by saying Ela. Because normally, you, if you say, like I said before, you say, go to, go to the city, if close to you is that city, you mean that city. You don't have to give any read any. But so this is what he says, Gimel. What he said in Beis is that we see it from the words of the person. If he didn't say any, so aside from the words of the guy who said he said Timno, going Timno, so that shows that there is no Sophic which one it is. And also, since they were not close, because he wouldn't have two cities close with the same name. So since it was not close, so there's not even a need to do it. Not only from the words, that's probably the difference in Beis and Gimel. Beis is only from the words of the, of the guy who said it, we understand that it, they didn't have to say which one it is. And certainly you don't have to because without the guy saying it, without the fact that he said that lotion, because if it's far away, you don't have to say, we understand clearly that when you're saying go to the city, we mean the one that's close. Okay, so we made it, we understand the Shaiva, we understand why Rasha brings the Kasha here, we understand why Rasha doesn't bring the other truths of the Gemara? Omnom, achre kol anal, eino inyem yushe kol tzorche. After all, it's still not completely good. Mitzad adeche, be'etzem apirah, shetim de bishpur ahara isai shevet. Be'etzem zarte, because Rasha says that Timna was in the middle of a mountain. That doesn't sound right. Quite not because of what it says here, what it says there, just be'etzem zach. How could it be? Bishadover, bilti rogel olipnes ir, bishpur yishel har. It's not so rare to build a city in the middle of a mountain? And he explains why. Yes, we understand some people build a city on top of a mountain. Why? The Hainu. Even though to build a city on top of a mountain is very hard. It's very hard to bring up the, the material for building the city. To work on the top of a mountain is very hard. If a, mount, a city is at the top of a mountain, it won't do such good business. Business you do with other cities. But if your city is at the top of a mountain, who goes there? Who's going to go there? It's very hard to go walk up on top of the mountain. So it means that not too many people are going to come here. So if not too many people are going to come here, why would a person build a city on top of a mountain? So why would people, it's hard to build there. And it's hard to do business there. Why would people do it? Sometimes we forego these problems. People choose to build Dafki on top of a mountain for protection from an invading army. The best place to have a city on top of a mountain. It will always have the upper hand against a war against the enemy that will fight. The enemy is going to be down. You're up. You always have the upper hand. So sometimes people would choose to build a city on top of the mountain. And then we understand. Some people will build it on the bottom of the mountain. Even though it's not so easy to protect it. Because it's a better place to make business. And it's easier to build. So some people will do that. So we have reason for some people to build a city on top of the mountain, sometimes the bottom. But to build a city in the middle of the mountain, then there's no real reason to build it. The building and the development is not so good because it's not on the bottom. It's after all higher up. So you still have problems of schlepping the stuff and people not coming there. 
Him and the Gale are going to live. And Sayyid doesn't accomplish Pagabe protection from the enemy. Because the enemy could come from the top and you'll be in the bottom. So what's the purpose? Why would people do that? But H Khelki and Zay Gabze, different on the top of a mountain, this the houses are one on top of the other. We see that different places in the stroll. That's not such a convenient thing. So why in the world would people see? if you build on top of a mountain, so you have on top of the mountain all this people, all the houses. But if in the middle, in the middle you have to build a house on top. It's it's Shamot Mizrach to do that. Being a city in the middle of the mountain is not a common thing. So it's more sense to say, we would have said, it's bet easier to say, that Vemestimno was on top of the mountain. How are we going to answer the two contradictions? We find one place up and one place down. If it's on top of the mountain, it's always you have to go up. So you could say Litzdodi, which means that one place where it says up, going up, means one thing, and one place where it says going down means something else. The Kol Chad Litzinyone, because each time it means according to what the Torah is trying to tell us. You explain like this. You could say like this. Loshen Eli Yehuda, when it says Vayal by Yehuda, Pirusha Aliyah Kipshut, it means Kipshut, he went up, the Gashmi. Because Bam is the city, was on top of the mountain. So then when it says here he went up, no problem. He went up the mountain. You can't say it means Baruchnius. By Yehuda, you can't say it means Baruchnius. Like we said before, because the post here is not talking what the Torah says. It's talking what the people said. When the people said he's going up, the, up to Timnot, they didn't mean Baruchnius. They didn't know. So it can't mean Baruchnius. So by Yehuda, it means very Kipshut that he learned and went up to Gashmius. It was on top of the mountain, he went up. The Loshim by Yered, by Shimshin, it says going down by Shimshin. Above the Sipra Kosa, the Loshinis, there were the Torah there, is talking about Shimshin. It says Shimshin went down. So when the Tater is telling us what happened to Shimshin, yeah, the Tater knows what's going to happen to him. And the Tater meant going down Baruchnius. And it, we would have said that such a Pshat. And there's a mile in this Pshat over the Pshat that was in the middle of a mountain because it makes no sense to build a city in the middle of the mountain. So the Mela, what is the Pshat here? We, would, we could learn that it, by, it was on top of the mountain. That some people build a city on top of a mountain. And Shimshin and the Yehuda went up, pushed the mountain. That's what's available. And by Shimshin, when it says Vayered, he's not talking, go, he's really going on the same city, going up. But it says Vayered because Beruch Nisi went down. And there he could say it. Because it's not someone talking to the Torah. The post is not telling us what someone said to Shimshin. The Torah is telling us what, about Shimshin. So Vayered could mean he went down Beruch Nisi. But in order to hint why Russia does not accept this pshat, and Russia still like actions have to say that the pshat is that it was in the middle of the mountain, in spite that it's not common. We asked the Kasha, why does Russia, when he asked the contradiction, he says, here it says, and there it says, by Shimshin it says, by Yedishim. So they asked the Shaila, why does the Pasha have to give an introduction? By Shimshin it says. He should just say, it says, by Yedishim. And we know it's talking by Shimshin. Rasha adds the word by Shimshin, it says, When it says by Shimshin, Yerid is not only in the specific Posik that Rasha brings, by Yedishim. Because the Posik is telling us that Shimshin went down. By Shimshin, when it says Vayered, it's not only in this posig. Many times in the whole story, this Loshan is written there many times. You can't say every time it says the word Vayered means Vayered. Doesn't happen. But once the Torah could be Merame. But since by Shimshin it says, and he quotes one posig, but he says you should know that it's B'chlal by Shimshin. So we must say Shemavavei Kipshutei. It must mean poshet shemokim megurav shal shimshin hoye berei shahor shimshin lives on top of the mountain. Bechol pam shahola patimna every time he's going to patimna hoye berei shal yirid agash minor. It means he had to come down. So if shimshin had to come down to timna, and here by Yehuda we're saying it definitely means going up to timna. The nimtzeh shemuch rachlei bermelo we have to say she b'shepu aharoi se yeshevus. It must be middle of the mountain, even though it's a deichin to say, but we must say. And the emes is, the Rebbe in a different order says, when the Gemara says, one of the pshatim, that there were, uh, timno, 
One is up and one is the middle, and one you have to go up and that one. From one side you have to go down, and one side you have to go up. The Gemara there gives an example of, of a certain city which was in the middle of a mountain. So the Rebbe says, why does the Gemara give an example here? Maybe for this reason, because without an example, it's hard to say. So the Gemara says, no, we find it happens. It does happen. It's not common, it's rare, but it happens. So here also, it happen, must be, we must say, because there's no other way to answer the contradiction. And since then, it's the only way to answer the contradiction. So now we know why it says here, Ayla, because since we, from the contradiction, we understand that there were two ways to get to Timna, from up or down, and she wanted to meet Yehuda, so they had to tell her which way he's going. So they said, he's going, oh, oh so she knew where to stop and where to catch him. That on the way up, she would stop him and speak to him. This is the, the Pshat Rashi. Serving Hashem is like going climbing a mountain. And you do what we know the Kasha Odom at Tapas Vaila Haora when someone climbs a mountain, E F Shali Lahapsi Bemta Liyosi. You can't stop in the middle of the going up. The Lamid's Mama Bamokim Shipu Shalar. You can't in the middle of the slant of the mountain, you're going up, you go up halfway and you stop there. You can't do that. Kikimat minanim, that's almost impossible. Shall you smate it in the Yipulamata? If you stop, it's almost impossible that you won't fall. So what do you have to do? You have to come. If you start going and you're going, you're in the middle there, you can't stop. You got to go up. If you don't go, continue up, you'll fall. So then, and since Aveda Hashem is compared to a mountain climbing, so the same thing is when you're going up in Aveda Hashem, in the mountain of Hashem, that you always have to go higher, and that must be not only because a person should always get better. Every person always has to go higher and get better. But it's not only for that reason. To make sure you don't fall. See, according to the first thing is, if you don't go up, which is not good, because you should be going higher. But if you don't go higher, you'll stay, you'll stay where you are. You're missing out going higher. But the Rebbe says, no, besides that, you're going to fall. What means is, you should never be satisfied with the Aliyah, how high you came till now. Because stopping here and satisfied with the Ali you had yesterday and not going from a higher to next Madrege, it'll bring you a Yerida. This is that the By Chaniki, we see that clearly, specifically. Shamhadim and Amhadrin says, Who's those are Amhadim and Amhadrin, which is what everybody is in the First day you light one. Then you go higher every day at one. The Gemara says the reason is because you always have to go higher with Kedesh not to go down. Therefore, according to this, that's the second day. You didn't add another one. So what's the problem? So you didn't go higher. You didn't add more. He says, no. Not only that that day you didn't add, but all of the Kedesh Lagabayim Shilafon, you didn't go higher in Gdusha, the Gabba the day before. If you didn't add one the second day, you're missing. Why am I missing? I didn't do less than yesterday. Why am I missing with it yesterday? If you didn't do this Hidr of adding another one, you're missing. You're missing a little yesterday. Yesterday, the first day to light one candle is the top, top hidu. There's nothing more mahuda. So yesterday you did the top hidu. Today, if you only lit one, you did like yesterday, but you didn't do the hidu. Same thing the third day. If you light two the third day, yesterday you did the hidu. Today, you're doing the same thing yesterday, but today it's not a hidu. So you're missing the gaba yesterday. Yesterday, what you did was a hidu. Today, not. If you want to do today with the same heater of yesterday, you have to go up to Kedesh. So here we see that if you don't go up higher, you go lower. Even if you're stopping and you're not doing less, you're not doing less than yesterday. Yesterday you did two, you later doing two. He's still missing because yesterday the two was the heater and today you're not. 
This is hinted in Rashi. Shema shenemer lo shnairiye v'lide b'timno. Rashi says, why does it say by timno, one place going up and one place going down? V'shel v'tishua, v'tishua v'tishua ha'har o'isa yishevet, because it's the middle of the mountain. Ki v'shipua ha'har, sh'u'inan ha'vedel v'salaz v'ruch nizvom. We say about a mountain, a mountain is going up. Shipua ha'har, the middle of the mountain, is means the middle of going up in Ruchnius. So what Rashi is saying, it's or going up or going down. There's no stopping. Nimnas that when it comes to the middle of the mountain, Nimnas Hamide. You can't stop. The Gamahidu Khulaybe Farokon, you can't go normal. Kim Rashi says when it's in the middle of the mountain, so it's up or down. So that's why in this Posik teaches us that there is such a thing as the middle of the mountain, which is Maramis. Mountain is Abed Hashem, the Yalabar Hashem. And there is, when you get to it, there's a middle. And Rashi says the middle is going up or down. Because if you stop in the middle, it's going to go down, unless you're going up. And just like by Yehuda, when he went up in the mountain to Timna, which means in Ruchnius, he went up in Abed Hashem. That brought that he gave birth to Peretz, and Peretz, that's Mashiach. And Peretz, because he was the great great grandfather of Mashiach. Shanamar, it says, All our Peretz, the name by Mashiach, it says the Peretz, when the breaks through the borders, will come up. So, just like over there by Yehuda, he went up the mountain. So, brought the union of Mashiach, that he brought the child Peretz, and Peretz is going to be Mashiach. Every person in his Avedas Hashem, in his mountain, his specific mountain, to the fulfillment of the promise for all of the it says also a mountain. The helpers will come up on the mountain of Tzion to judge Haresov to hoisel Hashem Amlucha. To be as Mashiach, the king of the Tzion and Mashiach will come. So this is a remez to the Indian that by a mountain, if you come to the middle of the mountain by Avedas <coughs> Hashem, you can't stop and not go higher because you'll fall lower. Only Irida, and you always have to go up, and it's connected to Hanukkah that we see by Hanukkah, you always have to go higher. And if not, not only you didn't accomplish going higher, you didn't even reach the level that you reached yesterday, that means you went down in the level. That's the how Hero we take from there. Okay, okay, like that.